cats need to respect and understand the lineage and the history and the legacy. This brand not only helped build up the company, but also helped build Urban Streetwear itself. I think for me, man, I'm, I'm OG, so I go back to the Gap commercial. You know what I'm saying? He's in a Gap commercial, but he ain't really talking about Gap. You feel me? He, you know, it, it shows loyalty, which I don't think a lot of people see nowadays. You know what I'm saying? For me, it was slick. You know, it was real fly slick. How he threw that in there right quick. And nobody would have ever assumed that just that little drop, just that little name drop right there would have jumped a lot of things off. You know what I'm saying? And, At some point or another, you know, it was FB'd out. But in the hood, in the street, FB all day. At the end of the day, when the streets accepted it, it was on the pop. And if you're an artist, you got to make sure you connect to the streets. And you go into these cities and they rocking, the people on the streets rocking FB. If you want them to know that, that you're a real dude and you just like them, you got you to gotta look like them when you pop up. You got you to gotta pop up in your FB, baby. Like I said, for the young cats that don't really know about what's going on with FB, you know, everything that you think is fly now, everything you think that's hot, everything that you think looks fresh on you, you know, the stereotype, the the, the, the drafts, the uh, the whole basic design layout, the corporate structure, the promotional structure, the marketing structure, the way they present the shit to the public, the way they go to video sets and, and, and try to get people to rock their gear, you know, the way they're in the place to be throwing parties and all that representing the brand. None of that was done before FB. I want you to understand that. Before that, cats used to have to still go to the mall and, and call up people and hope that people understood who they were and what they was talking about. But, but with FB, it was never that problem. And a lot of times, they would have an insight on who was hot before the cat even knew he was going to blow. FB to me, if I had to, you know, put it into words or analogize it, man, it would be forever fun. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to look back at my history, 17 years of being in the game, and I look at FB's history and, you know, we right there through all my major moments and all their major moments. We right there on this parallel level. And the fact that I'm still in the game, you know, said something about my character, my integrity, and my legacy. The fact that FB is still in the game says a lot about their character, their integrity, and their legacy. And, you know, I keep it 100 with the streets. I keep it 100 with the people. I keep it 100 with my music. And that's the only reason I feel that I'm still here today repping UGK for life. And that's the only way and the only reason that a brand like FB can still be here. They keep it real with the streets. They keep it real with the people. And that's what it is, man. FB for life. UGK for life. Yo, this your boy Bum B Rebbe, UGK for life. If you need any more facts about FB, you can go to FBLegacy.com.